Hello my dear friends welcome back we are discussing about the structure of the human eye now in the previous lecture i have discussed about the cells of the retina in a big detail i hope you have watched that le lecture and i hope you have got uh, some knowledge of the cells of the retina that how many types of cells are found in the retina right now my dear friends uh, there are some layers of the uh, retina right so book says that there are about 10 layers of the retina uh, how these layers are formed by the arrangement of all these cells right so some layers are formed and about 10 layers are present in the retina now what are those layers let's firstly name those layers uh, as i told you in the previous lecture we have discussed about cells that how many types of cells are present there are 10 types of cells found in the retina those are the uh, retinal pigment epithelium so it means that these are the epithelial cells then there were our rods and cones then there were the bipolar cells right these are the bipolar cells then there were the ganglion cells then we had these molar cells right these long long cells molar cells then there were the horizontal cells then there were amacrine cells then we had these interplexiform cells if you have, haven't watched this lecture i will give the link of the video in the description please go and watch this lecture to have a clear concept of all the cells which are present in the retina and these are the nerve fibers of the ganglion cells which are leaving the eye and going towards the central nervous system and carrying those impulses which have been created here right this was a little bit a relation to the previous lecture now let's go from the outer part to the inner part and discuss the layers of the retina so a little bit a small diagram a small representation of the retina here my dear friends as we know that this is our optic canal right and this is the optic disc right and from here the sclera goes anteriorly like this so this uh, is our sclera i hope you are getting and i hope you understand the diagram right so this is our sclera right and this is the cornea there i have made it now then there is you know that the choroid layer and other things so we will not make those we will directly make the retina so this is our retina right like this and all the fibers from the retina collect collect and these uh, unite together unite together all these fibers and they leave your eye as optic nerve that i have discussed in the previous lecture like this right so all these fibers are collect there so we say that first of all there were the retinal pigment epithelium as you can see here i have drawn right so this is our choroid then the last layer of the choroid that we had said while we were discussing about the choroidal layer that was the membrane of brush and next to membrane of brush there were what retinal pigment epithelium so i have enlarged these cells here and i have represented them as the retinal pigment epithelium right so the first layer of the cells oh, uh, i'm sorry the first layer of the retina will be your retinal pigment epithelium and let's go once again there you know that this is the inner part of the eye inner eye i will say it right and this will be the outer part of the eye so this is outer eye so the layers of the cells are counted from outer side to the inner side right so as we are moving like this so you just consider that here will be your yeah choroidal layer right the here is choroidal layer then the last layer of the choroidal layer will be here the membrane of brush and then will be the beginning of the retina so we are moving from outside to the inside of the retina right as here is the last layer of the retina so then here will be the vitreous body right here is the vitreous body you just consider it this is your vitreous body and here will be the first layer and then there will be the last layer of the retina so we are moving from outside to the inside or you can move also from inside to the outside so that's not a problem so first of all let us name all these layer first of all my dear friends here is a layer 
and this layer is your epithelial layer you know that these are the epithelial cells right so this is retinal pigment epithelium so we say the first layer of the retina as we are discussing about the layers of the retina not the cells of the retina so we should change our title the layers of retina right so the first layer that the retina has is the epithelium right so the epithelial layer right then next to epithelial layer look carefully this is the layer which we should mention right so this layer contains all the outer segments of the rods and cones not all parts of the rods and cones look this is the inner segment of the rods and cones and this is the outer segment of the rod and cone why it is called outer because it is towards the outer part of the retina so this is the second layer of the retina and that is called the layer of rods and cones right so we will mention it too so what is this this is the layer of rods plus cones right and not all the rods and cones only the outer segments right outer segments of the rods and cones and i hope you now understand this look the first layer epithelium the second layer the layer of rods and cones of the uh, uh, the outer segments of the rods and cones right then there is the third layer and you know that here we have the inner extensions of the molar cells right and i had told you that these molar cells will make an extension towards the outer side of the retina and one extension towards the inner side of the retina so these outer extensions will make here a lamina right they make here a lamina they make here a limiting membrane which will not allow the substances of these areas to move to the inner part of the retina so we said this is the limiting membrane this is the lamina which is present towards the outside of the retina so that's why we say that this is the outer limiting membrane right so let's name it this layer which is formed by what which is formed by yeah let's name it here which is formed the by the outer foot plates of these molar cells right so this layer as a whole is called the outer limiting limiting means it does not allow substances to go towards the inside of the retina so that's why we say that this is the outer limiting membrane right so let's name it this is our third layer i'm using the same color the outer limiting lamina or membrane right so this is the third layer of the retina now let's move further forward and you know these are the nuclei of the rods and cones so this will make the next layer which we should discuss right which we should know so this is the outer uh, nuclear layer why because this layer is towards the outside and this layer contains all the nuclei of the rods and cones so that's why we say that this is the fourth layer and we say this is the outer nuclear layer right okay so this is one two three and four what is the next layer the fifth layer okay friends here is our fifth layer right and here why because these are the end uh, points uh, the end parts of the rods and cones then there are the 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 sensory parts of the bipolar cells so connecting together and then there are the horizontal cells and the interplexiform cells so they make here a network right they make here a network and in the previous lecture this network was called by us as the outer plexiform layer so that's why we say that this is our outer plexiform plexiform layer right so this is the fifth layer okay let's write it here five so the outer plexiform layer then 
let's move inside and you know you know that here are the nuclei of the bipolar cell the nuclei of interplexiform cells and some other nuclei and the nuclei of the molar cells so all this layer contains all the nuclei of the molar cells the the bipolar cells the interplexiform cells right so we say that this layer is wholly solely made up of all the nuclei of these uh, neurons so that's why we say that this is look carefully this this layer was the uh, outer nuclear layer right and from here the inner retina starts so that's why we say that this is the inner nuclear layer right so this is the sixth layer and the sixth layer is called the inner nuclear lamina or layer right so this is the sixth layer now one outer epithelial layer second layer of rods and cones the outer segments of rods and cones third the outer limiting lamina then the fourth the outer nuclear layer the fifth the outer flexiform layer the sixth layer is the inner nuclear layer and the seventh layer is the inner plexiform layer yes we know this okay this is the inner plexiform why because this is a plexiform layer this is a network layer and it is present towards the inner retina that's why we say that this is the seventh layer and this is called the inner plexiform lamina or layer right so this is the seventh layer so we did we had said that about 10 layers are present there so this was the seventh layer now let's move towards the inside further and see other layer okay here are the nuclei of ganglion cells right so all these are which cells ganglion cells right so here is a layer of ganglion cell and nuclei right so that's why we say that ganglion cell layer right ganglion cell layer right so this is our eighth layer ganglion cell layer done then from all the ganglion cells you know these fibers are uniting together and want to go out of the eye right so these are the fibers of the ganglion cells like this so these fibers make a layer here which is called the fiber layer and this is the ninth layer of the retina so we say this layer which contains all the fibers of the ganglion cells so this is our ninth layer and this is called the fiber layer right so let me name it here this is our fiber layer right the ninth layer done and then there is the last layer and which is formed by the outer extensions of these molar cells all of these are the extensions of the molar cells and they are making a layer here a membrane here so let's know one thing more important look carefully this is the last part of the inner retina right so we say this is the layer which does not allow substances to come to the retina right so we say this is the inner limiting membrane it limits the retina right so we said this is the inner limiting membrane so this is our 10th layer i'm sorry 10th layer and this is called inner limiting membrane or lamina right so how many layers there is the outer limiting membrane which is formed by the look look outer limiting membrane and inner limiting membrane both are formed by the molar cells right look here this is the outer limiting membrane and here is the inner limiting membrane so inner and outer both are formed by the molar cells so how many layers of uh, are present there in the retina there are 10 layers which i mentioned let's once again fastly repeat them the layer of the epithelial cells the most outer layer that is called the epithelium or the epithelial layer the next layer is formed by the outer segments 
of the rods and cones that's why we say the layer of rods and cones then the layer formed by the inner by the outer foot plates of the molar cells so this is called the outer limiting lamina then the layer formed by the nuclei of the rods and cones this is called the outer nuclear layer then the layer formed by the un union of some uh, union by the un union of some uh, union of uh, we say that the rods and cones the uh, bipolar cells and the horizontal cells so this is called the outer plexiform layer then the layer formed by the nuclei of the bipolar cells the interplexiform cells the molar cells so this is called the inner nuclear lamina or layer then the a layer which is present towards the inside of the retina and it contains a network so we say this is the inner plexiform layer and then there is a layer of the nuclei of the ganglion cells so we say that ganglion cell layer and then there is the fibers of these ganglion cells so we say the fiber layer and then the last layer that is the inner limiting membrane or inner limiting lamina so friends these were the 10 layers of the retina so at here we stop our lectures regarding the retina so we about five or six lectures i have recorded about the retina i hope you will watch all those lectures and will learn about the retina now we will discuss next about lens we will discuss then about the aqueous humor and the vitreous humor and the blood supply and venous drainage and we will discuss about the canal of schlem also so see you guys in the next lectures till then allah hafiz